Hi everybody, it's Mama D. Welcome to my channel, Mama D Reacts, and we got the seventh episode of season three of Outlander called Cream de Menthe. I have no idea what's going to happen, but we know the last episode, Claire had an attacker in her room and grabbed her by the mouth and threatened to rape her. So let's see what happens. I'm sure there'll be some kind of craziness going on. It's Claire and Jamie, so what else do you expect? All right, let's go. Can you come any closer? You're war. You're war. Oh, good. Crack that noggin. <laughs> oh. What the devil happened? Exactly. Be like, what the hey? Found him rummaging through your things. He grabbed me and I fought him off, but he's breathing. Sassanak, what are you thinking? I can't let him suffer. I have to do something. Why? He attacked you. Because I'm a doctor. Yeah, they do take a Hippocratic oath to do no harm. An epidural hematoma. I'm going to have to relieve the swelling. Who is it? He was defending herself. Sassanak, let God take him. I have to try and save him, Jamie. You understand? Please. Yeah. As a nurse, you can't. Yeah, I don't yeah, some know. Whiskey. That's a dilemma. Right. Just yesterday, he attempted to extort more money from me. Considering the cask, so post you're already searching for. Are oh, hidden in my basement. A drill or a hole in his skull. I'll need to go to the apothecary, get some laudanum and things. Once he's recovered, you can turn him over to the authorities. So maybe you don't recall the workings of the law in this time. But all they'll see is that you were alone with a man that's not your husband in a brothel. Right. I'm not a whore. Doesn't it matter? Here, they'll arrest you for having assaulted him. Yep. I'll send a man up to watch over him while we're gone. Percival doesn't have care that, and he never will. And no one will find a trace of the pamphlets that will hidden. Besides, moving them now would be more dangerous than leaving them be. Can't risk them being discovered. I want to disappoint you, Uncle Jamie. I'm so sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but I have a situation that requires immediate attention. Please wait your turn, madam. But it's urgent. So too is the health of my dear sister. I'm an experienced healer. I would be happy to treat your sister if you just allow me to go ahead of you. Thank you. Uh, I'll need a bottle of laudanum, some ground yarrow root, and tormentil. Seventy-five pounds, and you'll get three casks of the creme de menthe as well. I'm no man to refuse liquors of no charge. <laughs> you have a bargain. Do you remember Auntie Claire all those years ago? Yep. The lady was fearless in the battle's prior to go on. She would heal men been cut in half by swords, ah. blown to pieces by cannon fire. <coughs> Don't make me regret hiring you. <laughs> I'm here to search these premises at once. Crunchy, crunchy through the skull. Gross. <sighs> Now, how he don't get a massive meningitis is beyond me. But this is TV. <laughs> this ends now. Sassanach. He died. Well, he's dead. I've got to your wish. Well, you tried, so you're... Honorable wife. Fought hard for his life. Oh. Put best foot forward. <laughs> it is better this way, Sassanach. You tried. But God took him. If I'd been in a proper hospital in Boston, I'd... But you're well, not you're not. In Boston. You're in 1766. I you to understand, but I've dedicated the last 14 years to respecting human life. I don't often lose a patient. <laughs> She's not used to that. You came thousands of miles and 200 years to find me. Yes, you did. I'm grateful that you are here no matter the cost. Oh. I would give up everything I have for us to be together again. Aww. Don't you see it? He always says the sweetest stuff. I've been living in the shadows. And then he walked into the print shop and it was as if the sun returned and cast out the darkness. Aww. I have another patient to see. Margaret Campbell. I met her brother at Tours and I offered to examine her. You will return. <laughs> Afterward. Are you afraid she's going to leave? Of course. I've been meaning to ask you, does French brandy really increase the firmness of a clock stand? <laughs> <laughs> but 
And where's that Bridget? I see you watching her every time we hear. What are you doing? Tonight <gasps> is the night you do more than just look. I've never <laughs> painted a last before. Then this is your opportunity, brother. <laughs> oh, I hold for you. Fifteen. A menage a trois. A what? Two women and one moi. No! <laughs> it was a rather religious experience. <laughs> Offer her a drink. Whatever her heart desires. Repeat. One and two. <laughs> Brought someone to see you. Will you no look alive? We have a guest. Can I come back later, Archie? I'm very tired. I should know a client, Margaret. Sahila. What have you given her? A few drops of laudanum to keep her calm. <gasps> Great dream. Great dream. Do you hear them? Do you hear the tree toads lullaby? And the moon? The moon be choking with blood. You best be careful. A bundle will devour you. A bundle, a bundle, a bundle. Sit still, unresponsive, for long periods of time. Oh, I stare at other walls. When she's in such a state, I can't get her to talk, let alone move. Mr. Campbell, from what I can discern, your sister isn't to see her. She's suffering from a, a mental mm -hmm. disorder. <laughs> Aye, as I told you earlier. Margaret's been soft and mad since she was a bear. Mm. Past the day and when nice sweet harms I feel. Oh, what are you doing? Is this not how it's done? I thought you worked out of a kettle, who's it? Hi, I've seen some of the hoots do it like this. Aye, but I'm not here tonight, am I? No. Your way out the tight. Finest last of air set eyes on. Tell me how you like it. <laughs> I'll do whatever you want. I do. And I'll show you. <laughs> what have you done with the body? The lad's hid it in a cask of creme de moth. Oh. Stored along with the others at my warehouse. It felt good today to have a patient. Perhaps I could work from the back of the print shop. Or we down at once. Ian, well, what's he doing here? Likely looking for young Ian. Then I mention that you've seen him. I'll explain later. Claire. It's so good to see you. Bless you, Ross. <gasps> we thought you were. I know. I know what Jamie told you. He thought I'd died in the aftermath of Clodden. Jenny and I, we grieved off here for years. We well, believed me to be dead as well. It was a terrible misunderstanding that kept us apart. How long has the lad been gone? Weeks. The last time my son ran away, he came to see you. But where else could he be? But Jenny is woefully distressed. What if he's been taken by a press gang? I thought that would happen. Claire must have taken you as well. I told you that. See? I knew it. That's not something you want to hold on to for very long. He's married. For the proper time. She's only just arrived. He might be waiting for Evelyn. Yep, he's married. <sighs> oh, don't stop, don't stop. Did you not hear that? No. <sighs> Oh. That I hurt. Oh, don't kill Ian. What are you doing trespassing in my uncle's shop? You know very well what I'm doing here, boy. Where are the casks? There are no casks, as you can see with your own eyes. Oh, Get shoot. Away That's those flyers. Betraying Sir Percival is one thing, inciting sedition. Leave! No! Stand down! Oh my god. Oh, you set the place on fire. Lord have mercy. All them chemicals. And 
he's got those flyers with Jamie's name on them. And he locked himself in the place. Since when do you lie to your family? <laughs> it isn't about the ways of the world. Young Ian ran away from home. Of course Ian and Jenny want to know where he is. Have you forgotten about all the deceptions we've colluded in? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we lied our way through Paris, did we not? Did we not just lie to Ian about where you've been for the past 20 years? A white lie to conceal something that Ian can't possibly understand. Oh, I didn't realise lies had shades. <laughs> you have no idea what it's like to be a worried parent. Oh. You're not the boy's father, Jamie. You don't think he's been no. worried about? I'm Mariana's father. Thank you. And all these years, he's had to worry about where I she is. Her, did I? Yep. Thank you, Jamie. I didn't have a say in how you and Frank brought her up. Yep. A wretched thing you call a bikini. <laughs> Even horse have the decency not to go prating about in the lake. Christ. I've forgotten how bloody rigid this century is. At least her virtue wouldn't have been endangered. <laughs> <laughs> Says the man. Living in a brothel. I'll have you know that Frank was a wonderful father to Brianna. Who was he now? Ooh. Was he a wonderful husband to you as well? No. What is that supposed to mean? You asked me. Did I fall in love with anyone else? Uh oh. Did you fall in love with him when you went back? No. I loved him, but that was before you. Mr. Balcom! There's a fire in Carfax clothes. Fire? Good job. Ian. What was he doing? Young Ian. Sleeps in the back. Jamie! Red way! Red way! Oh, Jamie, come on now. Ain't no way you're going to get in there. Super Batman style. <coughs> Uh -huh. They figured out how to make a hose, huh? That little bit of water ain't gonna help. Isn't there a back door? Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! Oh, Oh, his sign. Oh. A man with a blind eye. Look into your print shop, Uncle. He found your pamphlets. You know what? If he gives the material to Sir Percival, he'll be able to arrest you for more than smuggling. High treason is a capital crime. So All right, time to run. Me, he'll be awarded a king's ransom. Oh, oh, sorry, Uncle Jenny. All right. I'll take the lad home to lie, bro. Sir Percival will no be able to trace me there. He had profits from the sale of the casks. As well as what is owed to Leslie and Hayes. Get it to them for me, will you? I will. And stay out of sight. Likely there's a target on your back as well as mine. See if you can intercept the man with the blind eye before he gets to the personal. Of course, we don't have to tell Ned Gowen to bring news to Lallybrook. I'm of God, no matter I inquired after. Ooh. Ah, Lady does not yet know about you are the wife. See? Told you. Told you. Not yet. I'll explain everything once Claire and young Ian are safe. Send what when you can. I told you. He worked hard for that. Well, hmm. Now we confirmed he does have a wife, which I knew. I just knew you could tell. There was something he was keeping from Claire. So I want to find out what this story is about. Who did he marry? So let's get on to the next episode. And please uh, subscribe and click the bell for notifications. Leave any comments below. I love your guys' comments. And I'll talk to you on the next video. Peace out.